Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is part two. This is what we're doing. The graph gan that we're on. So, if you haven't seen part one yet, I have to go find it on my channel. This is to finish the blanket that I chose to make. I don't know if you guys have chosen to do it with me or not, but... We're starting part two on round 16. So let's just jump right into this. You're gonna start with two single crochets with your base color. You're gonna finish that with green. With green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your brown. With your brown, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet, so that should be on your green. You're going to finish that with your green, and you're going to do one single crochet, which should be on your base color, stitch from before. You're going to finish that with brown. Sometimes when I pull across like that, it really screws up me doing the next row. With brown, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with white. I'm just going to start a new white because I don't have very much of the white I'm using and it's way over there. So I'm just going to start a new white. And with the white, you're going to do seven single crochets. That's my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish this with my brown. And with my brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white, and I'm going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh single crochet. I'm going to finish with my brown. And I'm going to do two single crochets with my brown. And with this white, I'm going to do seven single crochets. So this is the bottom of the three windows on the second story of the house. So that's my seventh stitch. I don't have any brown over here, so finish that with your brown and do two single crochets. That's my second stitch. <laughs> I'm going to finish it with my base color. I'm going to cut off a strand of base color for over here on the other side just so I can use it on both sides. 
So, finish this with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with green. With your green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with brown. You're going to do your one single crochet with brown and finish that with your base color. You're going to do one single crochet with your base color. You're going to finish that with green. You're going to do one single crochet with green. You're going to finish that with your base color. You're going to do two single crochets with your base color. You're going to finish that with white. With white, you're going to do one single crochet. So that's just going to be a snowflake. You're going to finish it with your base color. And you're going to do five single crochets to the end. So if you didn't want to put in that one snowflake, you didn't have to do it. Chain one. Round 17 is going to be nine single crochets with your base color. This is my ninth stitch, which is on the green from the row before. I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my brown. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my green. And I'm going to do one single crochet. So the green is on the base color from the row before. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown, which I got to add. With reddish brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. I don't have white on this side. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my yellow, which I also have to add because I don't I haven't used yellow in a while. With my yellow, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my yellow. With my yellow, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. So we're making the light in the windows at this point, same as we did below. 
with my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown. With my reddish brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my yellow. And I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my yellow. And I'm going to do two single crochets. Finishing this with my white. I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown. And with my reddish brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I've been doing over here. One white, two yellow, one white, two yellow, one white. To make the other window. So one white. Two yellow. One white, two yellow, one white, I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown. I'm going to do two single crochets with my reddish brown. I got to finish this with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my green. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown for my tree trunk which is one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with green. And my green I'm going to finish with my base color. And with my base color I'm going to do three single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 18, we're going to do two single crochets with our base color. I'm going to finish that with green. I zoomed out to show you the pattern. I forgot to zoom back in. With green, you're going to do one single crochet. So that's on the base color from the previous row. It's so hard to lose where your stitches should go because so many color changes. So finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with brown to do your tree trunk your one single crochet with your tree trunk. You can finish that with your base color. Your base color you're going to do one single crochet. So it's on the green. So it's the opposite. Every round is the opposite of what the row before was for the tree. Anyway, finish that with green and on your base color you're going to put your green from the row before. You are going to, you're going to finish that with your reddish brown 
And with your radish brown, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second one, you're going to finish that with white. With white, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with yellow. We're going to make our window, window lights again. So two yellow. One white. This you can just follow along with what you have already. You're going to do it all the way across. Two yellow. One white. So change to your reddish brown at this point. You're going to do two. Two reddish brown and do another window. So I'm to the end of all my windows, which is, you know, the one white, two yellow, one white, two yellow, one white. I'm going to do my two reddish browns. I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. Oops. I'm going to finish that with my green. I'm going to do one single crochet with green. Go back to my base color, where I'm going to do one single crochet with my base color. I'm going to finish that with my brown. I'm going to do my tree trunk. I'm going to finish that with my base color. I'm going to finish that one with my green. I'm going to do one single crochet. Finish that with my base color. And eight single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. So this is going to need some serious blocking just because it's such a big project. We are on round 19. This certainly gets easier as we go. It's certainly going to, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I can't even fit the whole thing in. I did screw up there. I saw that last night when I finished my first part. I noticed that. Should be an extra one over here. Or not this one here at all. So I must have miscounted or something. I don't know. No big deal. No one's even going to notice on my blanket. And honestly, my snowflakes really aren't showing up that well either. So I don't know if anyone's going to notice those. But I'm just following the pattern. I didn't write it. I'm just following it. I still don't like the way it's off-center. 
Like there's so much over here, but there's not much over here. And this tree seems to be right up against the house where this tree isn't. So not a fan of that either, but anyway, moving on to round 19. You're gonna do nine single crochets with your base color. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with green. With green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown. With brown, I'm going to obviously do my tree trunk. I'm going to finish that with green. I'm going to do one single crochet with green. Um, I'm going to finish my green with my um, base color. I'm going to do two single crochets with my base color. I'm going to finish that second one. I'm going to finish the second one with my brown. With brown, <coughs> I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish the second stitch with white. With my white, I'm going to do seven single crochets. So my window frame. On my seventh stitch, I'm going to finish that with my brown. And with my brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. That seems tight. I'm going to do two single crochets with my brown. And I'm going to finish that with my white, where I'm going to do seven single crochets with my white. I'm going to finish that with my brown. And I'm going to do two single crochets with brown. Finishing the second stitch with my white, I'm going to do seven single crochets with my white. I'm going to finish this last stitch with my brown. And with brown, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that last stitch with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with green. Oh, I don't have very much green left over here. If I was even on camera. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. With green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown. So I can do my tree trunk. With brown, I'm going to do my tree trunk. One single crochet. I'm going to finish with the green. I'm going to do one single crochet with the green. 
I'm going to finish that with my base color. I'm going to do three single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. We're on round 20. You're going to do two single crochets with your base color. You're going to finish that with green. You're going to do one single crochet with green. Finish with your base color. You're going to do one single crochet with your base color. You're going to finish that with brown. You're going to do your tree trunk. You're going to finish that with your base color. You're going to do one single crochet. Finished with your green. With your green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your brown. With your brown, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your white. So we're going to start our windows again with the light in them. So you're going to do one single crochet with your white. You're going to finish that with yellow. With yellow, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with white. And you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with yellow and do two yellow. And finish that with white, where you're going to do one white. So you're going to finish that with your brown. You're going to do two single crochets with your brown. You're going to finish that with your white. You're going to do one white, two yellow, one white, two yellow, one white, finish that with your brown, and do two single crochets. And do another window. Three windows on top. So, you're going to finish that with brown. And with brown, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with green. Oops. No. What did I just do? <laughs> finish that with your base color. Then you're going to do one green. One base color. You're going to finish that with brown. That's you're going to be your tree. So do your trunk. You're going to finish that with your base color. You're 
You're going to do your one single crochet with your base. You're going to finish that with green. You're going to do your one single crochet with green, finished with your base. And you're going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. So, getting there, round 21 is going to be nine single crochets with your base color. That's my ninth stitch. You're going to finish it with your green. With your green, you're going to do one single crochet that you're going to finish with your brown. I don't got much brown left. With your brown, you're going to do one single crochet. So the brown's always on top of the other brown. You're going to finish with your green. With your green, you're going to do one single crochet. Finished with your um, base color. With your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with your reddish brown, which is down here a couple of rows. With your reddish brown, you're going to do two single crochets. And we do our windows again. So, our windows, one white to yellow, one white to yellow. So, you want to finish that with your reddish brown and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your white and you're going to do one white to yellow, so on and so forth. So you're going to finish that with your reddish brown and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your yellow. Sorry, you're going to finish that with your white. I'm not sure where my head's at. Let me try that again. You're going to finish that with your white. With your white, well, you're going to do another window.
I ran out of my reddish brown, so I'm going to finish my window white with my two single crochets reddish brown. So on your second one, you're going to finish it with your base color. Oh no, I ran out of base color over there. So with your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your green. Oh good lord, I have no green left either. So I'm going to do my one single crochet with my green and I also need more brown. So my green, I'm going to do my one single crochet for my tree trunk. I'm going to finish that with green. I'm going to do my one single crochet with green. I'm going to finish it with my base color with my base color I'm going to do three single crochets to finish the row chain one round 22 Round 22 is going to be two single crochets with your base color. You're going to finish that with your green. With green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with brown. With your brown, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to finish that with green. With green, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to finish your green with your reddish brown and you're going to do two single crochets on your second it's getting harder to hold the bigger it gets on your second crochet with your brown I'm just adding more white because I don't have enough to do what I need to do with it you're going to do seven single crochets with your white So this finishes the windows. So on your seventh stitch, you're going to finish that with your C color, which is my reddish brown, and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish the second one with white and do seven single crochets. And you're going to repeat the same thing for window number three. On my last white stitch, I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown, my C color. I'm going to do two single crochets with my reddish brown. I'm going to finish that With my base color 
with my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my green. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base. And do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that one with my brown. I only got a little bit of brown. I'm going to do my one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. I'm going to do one single crochet. Finish that with my green, which I don't have much left of. Do my one single crochet. Finish with my base color. And I'm going to do five single crochets. Oh, I forgot to put in my snowflakes. That's why. So I'm going to do two single crochets. <laughs> I'm going to add some snowflakes that no one will probably ever see. My two single crochets. Finish that with white. White, you're going to do one. Oh, so it's just literally one snowflake. Anyway, five single crochets to the end. That was stupid. I should have just skipped the snowflakes, but then I'm making a decision for everybody, right? So. I'm going to take care of some business in the back, and I will meet you back for round 23. Round 23. We're going to do four single crochets with your base color. keep putting my arm on my piece. I'm going to finish that with white that I'm leaning on. So I'm going to be doing a number of snowflakes up here. So with white I'm going to do one single crochet. Finish that with my base color. I'm going to do one single crochet. Finishing that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with green. I don't have very much green left. With green, I'm going to do my one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown. Oh gosh. With my brown, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish with my base color. No, I'm not. I'm going to finish with my green. With my green, I'm going to do my one single crochet if I can manage to get it through. I'm going to finish that with my... I'm going to tie the brown and the green because they're... Um, they're not just going to stay hanging there. So, I'm on my base color. I'm going to do probably two single crochets. Let me see. Yep, two single crochets with my base color. I'm going to switch to brown. Get my white out of the way. So, I need... more brown for this side because I don't have any on this side. I just got that reddish brown, but we're going to our color D. With our color D, you're going to do 29 single crochets.
So 29 brings you right back over to the tree. You're going to do one single crochet with your base color. You're going to finish that with green. You're going to do one single crochet with green. You're going to finish that with brown with your D. You're going to do one single crochet, finish it with your green. If I can find my green. You're going to do one single crochet with your green, finish that with your base color, one single crochet, oh, actually, let's finish the row with three single crochets to finish the row. Chain one. Round 24. We're going to do four single crochets, their base color. You're going to finish that with your brown, then you're going to do one single crochet. Then you're going to do two single crochets with your base color. So we're coming to the tops of the trees. You're going to finish that second stitch with white, which I don't have. So this white is not windows anymore. This white is the top of, um, or well, bits and bobs of snow on the top of the roof and part of the house. So with white, you're going to do one single crochet. I'm just going to cut this off. You're going to finish that with brown, which is your color D color D, you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish that third one with your white and you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish this with D and with D you're going to do eight single crochets. With your, um, what you just saw me do there, I'm just switching my browns. I want to keep a brown over closer to this side. So it's still all brown. You're going to finish that. Oh, sorry. You're going to finish that with green because we're going to be doing um, a Christmas wreath in the middle of the top part of the house. So with green, you're going to do three single crochets. So finish that with your brown. I'll show you. What we just did is this bottom part of the wreath right there. So now I just want you to do nine single crochets with your D color. So brown. So finish that ninth stitch with your white. And with white, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish it with brown. And you're going to do three single crochets with brown. My brown is tiny small. You're going to finish that with white and with white you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with green and 
with green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. So that'll be above the green from the row before. So finish that. I don't have any more brown. i got to add more. Finish that with your brown and um, do your tree trunk. So one single crochet. You're going to finish with green. With green, you're going to do one single crochet. No, you're not. Finish your tree trunk with your base color. And do one single crochet so it should be on the green stitch from the row before you can finish that with green do one single crochet go back to your base color do two single crochets on your second stitch you're going to go to white with white you're going to do one single crochet you can finish that with your base color. And do five single crochets to the end. Huh. So I'm just going to end the row. So I want to tie these little straggler guys together because I don't want anything coming undone. And that brown was pretty small, which I'm quite sure is going to get in my way now. I'm quite sure of it. So I need to reattach because uh, I um, didn't have enough, which is no big deal. We're going around 25. So you're going to do nine single crochets with your base color. You're going to finish that with your green. Now I only have this much green so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to get some new green and you're going to do your one single crochet so finish that with your brown do your one single crochet oops no finish that one single crochet with your green and do your one single crochet with green finishing it with your base color
and do your one single crochet with your base color. So I want you to finish that with white. So finish that with your white. So with white, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your reddish brown, which is your C color. So I'm going to add some more. With your C, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to go back to white. White, you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to go back to your C color. And with C, you're going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish it with green. If I have green, uh, I don't have green back here to finish it with, so I'm going to pull my green out. Finish that with my green. I thought I had green hanging here, but I guess not. So with green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my reddish brown. With my reddish brown, I'm going to do six single crochets. That is my sixth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. And I'm going to do three single crochets with my white. I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown, which is my C color. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. And with my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that. Oh, that's why I don't have green over there. So I'm going to finish that with my green, but I'm going to do my green as a new thing, even though I'm just about done my tree. So with my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown for my tree trunk. And I'm going to do my one tree trunk. So I'm stuck. I'm going to finish that with my green. I'm going to finish my green with my base color and do three single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 26 is going to be two single crochets with your base color. You're going to finish that with white. With white, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to finish that one single crochet with your base color. 
And with your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with brown. Oh, no, you're not. I screwed up. Oh, there is no brown. I didn't screw up. So you're going to do your one single crochet with your base color. And you're going to finish that with green. This is the very tippy top of the tree. You're going to do one single crochet with your green. So that's going to be on your brown. And that's just because it's the top of the tree. We're done this tree. We're still going to be doing the other one. So go back to your base color. You're going to do one single crochet with your base color. And you're going to finish that with your white. And I don't have enough white to do what I need to do, so i got to add some more. With white, you're going to do 10 single crochets. This is my 10th stitch. I'm going to finish with my reddish brown. So finish that with your C color. And with C, you're going to do two single crochets. So you're going to finish that with green. We'll use this green. With green, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish the second one with your reddish brown, so your C color, and you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish that with your green, and you're going to do two single crochets. So after your second green, which I'm apparently running out of, you're going to go back to your C color, and you're going to do two single crochets with C. You're going to finish that with white. I don't have white over here, do I? I got white right there. Well, I'll have to bring this white over here. And you're going to do 10 single crochets with your white. That's my 10th stitch with my white. I'm going to finish with green. With green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish with my base color. I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish with my brown color, so color D. To do my trunk. I'm going to finish it with my one sing or my base color. Do one single crochet. Finish that with your green to do one single crochet. Back to your base color to do eight single crochets to finish the row. Chain one. Do whatever you need to do at the back. Okay. 
You're going to do nine single crochets with your base color. So you're going to finish that with your green. We're going to be done this tree shortly. You're going to do one single crochet with your green and you're going to finish that with your brown. Find my brown. You're going to do one single crochet with your brown. You're going to finish that with your green. You're going to do one single crochet with your green. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish this one single crochet with your beige. So I'll tell you in a second what part. We're on the trim of the house. So we're right here. The trim before the uh, roof. So with your beige, you're going to do, which is H, you're going to do 10 single crochet. That's my 10th stitch. You're going to finish that with white. With white, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with brown. So I got to bring my brown all the way over here. So with my brown, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my green that I need more of. I'm going to finish my brown with green and I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my brown and two left hands all of a sudden. And with my brown, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with green. And I'm going to do two single crochets with my green. I'm going to finish that with my brown. I'm going to do one single crochet with my brown and I'm going to finish that with white. All the way over here. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish it with my beige. Sorry if I'm not on camera. I'm, um, I feel like I'm working with two left hands all of a sudden. With my beige, I'm going to do 10 single crochets. This is my 10th stitch that I am going to finish with my base. And 
and with my base I'm going to do six single crochets to the end. Chain one. We're going to do six single crochets with our base color. That's my six. Oh. Everything's falling. So I'm going to bring in this dark chocolate brown, which is your E color. So that's what I'm using, a dark chocolate brown. I have not used this throughout the project. But this is going to be the roof, so we're starting the roof, which means we're almost finished. So with my dark brown, I'm going to do 10 single crochets. This is my 10th stitch. I'm going to switch to my beige. I can find it. And with my beige I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with white. With white I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my brown. With my brown, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with green. With green, I'm going to do five single crochets. So I'm finishing that wreath that's on the top. That's my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish that with my brown. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my beige <laughs> and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my chocolate brown, my E color, my roof color, and I'm going to do 10 single crochets. That's my 10. I'm going to finish that. So I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with brown. With brown I'm going to do my tree trunk. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do ten single crochets to the end. That's my 10. Chain 1. Turn your work. So we've started the roof. We're going to have a point. That's what we're doing in here. It's going to come to a point. That right there. That's what we're doing. That's 
why it looks funny in there. So round 29, we're going to do nine single, scissors we're going to do nine single crochets with our base color. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with green. I don't have much green left. With green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my brown. With my brown, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my green and do one single crochet. I'm going to finish my green with my base color and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my chocolate brown. And with chocolate brown, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my beige. With my beige, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with white. With white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my C color. And with C, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with green. With green, I'm going to do three single crochets. Sorry, I'm just trying to get under both pieces. I don't know if I've got enough to do three. Nope. This is my third green. I'm going to finish it with my C color, which is my reddish brown. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with white. And I'm going to do one single crochet with white. I'm going to finish that with my beige color. With my beige color, I'm going to do one single crochet. Then I'm going to finish that with my chocolate brown. With chocolate brown, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch that I'm going to finish with white. With white, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, 
turn your work. So we're on round 30. We're going to do six single crochets with our base color. Um, I got to add more base color. On your sixth stitch, you're going to switch to your E color, your dark brown, your chocolate brown, if that's the color of your roof. You're going to do six single crochets. That's your sixth stitch. You're going to finish with white. I have to bring my white all the way over here. With your white, you're going to do four single crochets. This is your fourth stitch. You're going to finish with your chocolate brown. And you're going to do two single crochets. So your second single crochet should be in the beige stitch from the row before. You're going to finish that with your beige. And you're going to do one single crochet. So that should be in this white stitch. You got to really make sure that you don't miss stitches. You're going to finish that with white and you're going to do one single crochet. So that should be in your color C. You're going to finish that with color C. Which is your reddish brown and you're going to do three single crochets. So whatever's on these green. So follow these three green stitches. You're going to finish that with white. And with white, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that one single crochet with your beige, your H color. And with H, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to go back to your chocolate brown, which is your E color. And you're going to do three single crochets. After your third, well, you're going to finish your third stitch with your white. And with white, you're going to do four single crochets. You're going to finish that with your chocolate brown or your E color and you're going to do five single crochets. So that takes you basically to the last chocolate stitch that you had before. You're going to finish that with your base color and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that second one with your brown. So we're, we're finishing the tree shortly here. You're going to do your trunk. And you're going to go back to your base color. So no more green. And you're going to do 10 single crochets to the end. Ten. Chain one. I really hate when I run out of color halfway in the middle of something. Round 
round 31. So we got just about our top done. You're going to do 13 single crochets with your base color. So that's my 13th. That means that we're not doing green and brown anymore for the tree. So any green that you might have over here can be cut off. We're not doing any more green for this side. I'm just going to cut my green off so it's not in the way anymore. I'm leaving a tail so that I can just weave that in or whatever later. So, oops, I shouldn't have finished that stitch. So you're going to finish this stitch with your chocolate brown with your E color. You're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish that with white, which apparently I need more of. With white, you're going to do nine single crochets. That's my ninth stitch. I'm going to go back to my chocolate brown. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my beige. With my beige, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my reddish brown color. And I'm going to do one single crochet. So we're just doing the tippy top of the roof. Finish that with white and do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your H your beige and you're going to do one single crochet. So finish that with your chocolate brown color. With chocolate brown you're going to do two single crochets. Whoops. You're going to finish that with white. And with white, you're going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish with my chocolate brown. With my chocolate brown, I'm going to do four single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets to the end. Chain one. Turn your work. So we're done the point of the house. This is just snow on the roof. Here's 
going to do four single crochets with your base color. This thing is huge. It's hard to hold after a while. You're going to finish that with white. With white, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your base color. In your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your chocolate brown. And with your chocolate brown, keep getting stuck on this knob on this drawer. With chocolate brown, you're going to do 14 single crochets. This is my 14th, so it's going to go into the one, the beige from the previous row. And I'm going to finish that with my beige, and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. I have no white over here. with my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. So that'll be on the brown from the previous row. I'm going to go back to my H, and I'm going to do one single crochet, which is now on the white from the previous row. I'm going back to my chocolate brown, I'm going to do 14 single crochets. So that's beginning in the beige from the previous row. So this ends on the last chocolate brown of the previous row, and you're going to finish it with your base color, and with your base color you're going to do 13 single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 33. You're going to do 13 single crochets with your base color. This is my 13th stitch. I'm going to finish this with my chocolate brown. And with my chocolate brown, I'm going to do 15 single crochets. This is my 13th stitch, and I'm going to finish with my beige, and with my beige, I'm going to do, oh wait, did I miscount? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I'm going to do one single crochet with my H. Well, this doesn't feel like it lines up at all. Though this H is supposed to be right at the top, so even though it says 13 stitches, I'm going to do one more. Maybe I've screwed up somewhere again. But that H is supposed to be right on the tippy top. So I'm going to do... Like I would have to do two more stitches. I just really need this H to be right on the top. So if your numbers are... I don't know how that got screwed up. I'm going to put my H right on the tippy top and I'm going to go back to brown and I'm going to do 15 single crochets Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I didn't screw up. I thought it was 13. I had counted 13. And I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. I actually wrote down 15. So if I said 13, then I'm sorry. This was 15. Because I'm, I'm thinking 15 chocolate brown should have been 15 over here. And then I was like, wait a minute, I counted 13. Yeah, I think I'm just about done with this whole pattern. <laughs> anyway, so that worked out. I didn't screw up at all, actually. Anyway. 15 um, chocolate browns and on your 15th stitch you're going to go to your base color and you're going to do six single crochets to finish the row. That's my sixth stitch. Chain one. Turn your work. not much more left. This goes to, uh, we're on round 34. This goes to round 43, but it's going to be so quick because they're really, really short and sweet at this point. Round 34, you're going to do six single crochets. I'm going to have to add more base color. This is my sixth stitch, so you need to finish that with your chocolate brown or your roof color, and you're going to do 31 single crochets. So your 16th stitch should be on that beige from the row before. So my 31 stitch is basically across the whole entire thing. We're going to put some uh, snowflakes in this row though. So um, finish your 31 stitch with your base color. With your base color you're going to do three single crochets. If you don't want to put snowflakes in here you don't have to. So finish your third stitch with your white, your A color, and you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to finish that with your base color and you're going to do nine single crochets to the end. I 
I did, I missed a stitch. See how easy it is to miss a stitch? And that's nine single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. I'm going to start having knots happening in the back soon. So close. Round 35. You're going to do eight single crochets with your base color. This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish it with my base. I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. I'm going to do one single crochet finish that with my base. So just another snowflake. And I'm going to get to two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my chocolate brown. And with my chocolate brown, I'm going to do six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. I'm going to finish with my white. With white, I'm going to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch. I'm going to finish with my brown. I'm going to do 12 single crochets with my brown. This is my 12th stitch. I'm going to finish with my white. I'm going to do two single crochets with my white. I'm going to do two single crochets with my white. And go back to my brown. And I'm going to do seven single crochets with my brown. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets to the end. Is my sixth stitch. Chain one, turn your work. Round 36. You're going to do six single crochets with your base color. You're going to change to chocolate brown and you're going to do six single crochets. You're 
you're going to finish that last stitch. With white. And with white, you're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish with my chocolate brown and I'm going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish with white. And I'm going to do nine single crochets with white. That's my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish with my chocolate brown and I'm going to do four single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do nine single crochets to finish the row. Chain one. Round 37. We're going to do 13 single crochets with your base color. This is my 13th stitch. You're going to switch to dark brown. Oh, I'm all jacked up. I'm going to pull my brown out, snip it off. So I'm going to finish that with my base color, or my E. With E, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white with white I'm going to do 11 single crochets This is my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my chocolate brown. And with chocolate brown, I'm going to do five single crochets. That's my fifth stitch. I got to finish with my white. And with white, I'm going to do eight single crochets. I'm 
going to finish that eighth stitch with my brown and I'm going to do four single crochets. On my fourth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 38 is going to be three single crochets with your base color. So I'm going to finish that with white. With white, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do seven single crochets. Seven. Let me tie these two. So, finish that seventh stitch with brown. Oh my gosh, I got brown way down here. So I'm going to finish that with brown. And with brown, I'm going to do, that's your D color, I'm going to do five single crochets. These are the chimneys, so if you don't want your chimneys to be this color, then I wouldn't do it. So, switch to your base color and do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch that I'm going to finish with my brown and with my brown I'm going to do five single crochets. That's my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do 18 single crochets to the end. That's my 18th stitch, chain one. So, uh, we are done with the chocolate brown, so you can cut that off. We're not done with the brown yarn, but we are done with the beige. So you can cut that off. Leave tails for everything so that you can, you know, take care of some business. We're coming to the end of it. The only thing that we're going to do now is the last part of the chimneys. So you'll need your brown for that. And um, the um, snowflakes and your base color. So color A, white. And then your 
base color. So one more row with the brown. I don't really have enough brown, so I'll probably have to add some more. So white and brown and your base colors, all that you're going to really need left. So the last part's going to go quite quickly. And if you don't want to do the snowflakes, that's fine. You don't have to do the snowflakes. So even more easy peasier for you. So I've taken care of everything along the way, so I really don't have too much to, to take care of. So hopefully my battery will last until we get this done. You're going to do 11 single crochets with your base color. That's my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish that with white. I already have white attached, but it's over on the other side and I don't feel like pulling it across. So I'm probably going to weave in all this, these two pieces. I want you to do one single crochet with your white and go back to your base color. And with your base color, I want you to do six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. So I'm just going to add more brown because I don't really have enough. Oh, and with my brown, I'm going to do five single crochets. So you're just following along with the brown that you already have sitting here. So it's just the second part of your chimney. So you can go back to your base color. And with your base color, you can do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch. So, I don't have, oh, there's my brown. I'm gonna pull my brown across. And you're gonna do five single crochets with your brown. So you're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. I'm going to finish with my white. I'm going to do one single crochet with my white. I'm going to finish with my base. I'm going to do one single crochet with my base. I'm going to finish with my white. I'm going to do one single crochet with my white. I'm going to finish that with my base. And I'm going to do two single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. Round 40. Round 40, I'm going to do three single crochets with my base color. That's my third stitch. 
I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do 19 single crochets. This is my 19th stitch. I'm going to finish with a white and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base and I'm going to do 26 single crochets. That's my 26. Chain 1, turn your work. Round 41. You're going to do 3 single crochets. You're going to finish that with your white. Now my white, I have white there. My white's way over here. I am just going to cut this off and I'm going to pull my white back out of the knot that I've got going on. And I'm going to reattach over here. Sometimes you just got to do that with large projects. So, all that for one single crochet. Go back to your base color. With your base color, you're going to do 12 single crochets. That's my 12. I'm going to finish it with white. And with white, I'm going to do one single crochet. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do eight single crochets. That's my eight. I'm going to change to white to do one single crochet. I'm going to go back to my base color. I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to go back to my white and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to go back to my base color and I'm going to do 12 single crochets. So when I do that, that's supposed to be a great big snowflake. 
Although with my color, my base color, you can't really see it. This is my 12th stitch. I'm going to do one single crochet with my white and I'm going to go back to my base color and I'm going to do nine single crochets to finish the row. Chain one. Turn your work. You're going to do 23 single crochets with your base color. That's 23 stitches. I'm going to finish it with my white and do one single crochet. Finish that with my base. And with my base I'm going to do 23 single crochets. This is my 21st stitch. So I'm going to finish that with my white and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. And I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my base. And I'm going to do two single crochets to finish the row. Chain one. Turn your work. Your last round is just going to be one single crochet in each stitch. So this is what you should have. I am making a blanket with this. I've been doing all my Christmas tapestries throughout November and it was ultimately to make a blanket. So I um, made this big one for the center of the blanket and then I'm going to sew all the other little ones around it and then I'm going to crochet a back after I measure it. I'm going to put polyfill batting in the middle, like quilting batting in the middle and I'm going to make a great big long panel which I'll tell you the size of. I'll, I'll go through that with you if you're doing this with me. Because I have raw edges, um, some of my other smaller little panels I had gone around with a half double crochet it actually gave a really nice look to it and that's what I'm going to do with this great big guy is I'm going to go around with half double one half double crochet and along the raw edges you're going to have to create stitches because there's no stitches to follow 
and on each corner you're either going to put two half doubles or you could do two half doubles, chain one, two half doubles. You can do a, a fan stitch like that or something. So it's completely up to you. I don't know what you're doing with your project, so I'm just telling you I'm using mine for a blanket, so that's what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go around. I'm going to chain one here, and I'm going to go around putting half one half double crochet. So I'm going to put a second one in that space just to make my corner. And wherever I can get my hook in, I'm going to put a half double. And that's only because I need the stitches to sew the other panels to when I do my blanket. And then after this, I'm going to go put it in my laundry tub and I'm going to soak it. So if you're going to block it with me, then when we come back, uh, make sure it's wet. Just trying to make this video shorter. So go ahead and do whatever you're doing if you're doing this. Wet your project, get it nice and soaking wet, and then I'll come back and we can block it together. I will put up what blocking means. So, mine is soaking wet, so it's very pliable. I've got all my, my, all my boards all together. So, we just need to pin this into shape and let it dry. 